Yellow, Ralph McIntyre with Astro Map Links. Well, I'm here to do another video in my video series, Ask an Astrologer. This is also about astrocartography and what it's like to live where there's no lines. All right, thank you so much for asking this question, Mar. I really appreciate it, and it's definitely not a stupid question. It's another one of these videos that I've been needing to do for a long time, so thank you, thank you so much. <clears throat> let me dive into it a little bit. So, fundamentally, let me just give a little background as far as astrocartography is concerned. So, Astrocartography lines represent where on the planet certain parts of your birth chart have a little more energy. Now, depending on who you talk to, some astrologers say they have a lot more energy, some astrologers say no energy, some say a little more. Depends. And so, by living close to the line, the energy increases. By living further from the line, the energy decreases. So technically, there really isn't any area where there's no lines influencing you. So even if it's beyond the orb, so you think about the orb as the distance you can live from the line that you actually feel it. Now, that is a subjective kind of reality there in the sense that you know, it's like 700 miles. So at 701, there's you won't feel it. Or 699, you'll feel it. You know, or it's 800 miles, you'll feel it. Or 500 miles, you'll feel it. So the simple answer is look to the closest line. And you'll get some of the influences there. But as far as living on a location where there's no lines... There's really nothing wrong with that. A lot of people are like, oh, there's no lines. I shouldn't live there. It's like, no, that's completely wrong thinking. It actually is probably a little easier to live someplace where there's no lines. I mean, because you think about it, the line represents that planet in your chart. So there really isn't anywhere in this planet, in this incarnation, where the influence of your birth chart isn't affecting you. It's just, are you dialing it up a little or are you dialing it back a little? So if you're living someplace with no lines, you're inherently not dialing anything up. So I wouldn't worry too much about it at all. Don't be too concerned if you find an area with no lines, good lines, bad lines. Just kind of understand what the, it's asking of you. And so fundamentally the birth chart is yours for life so fundamentally it's being asked of you wherever you live so any part of your birth chart is always so to speak being asked of you to step up to that lesson so whether you live on a line or not you're still being asked to live up to your birth chart if you live on a line you're just dialing up one aspect of your birth chart i hope that makes sense and as far as the parents are concerned if that's the only line that you're living near, you know, th there's nothing wrong with that either. You know, don't think that, oh, I have to find some place that has a good line. And this is where I think a lot of astrologers get this wrong. They give too much power to astrocartography because there's so many other aspects to finding a good home. You know, the weather, the political climate, the, the density, all of those things, the proximity to family, proximity to work, you know, proximity to the things you like to do. All of those have just as strong of an effect, if not stronger, than the astrocartography lines. So as far as living on a location where there's no lines, I would not worry about that at all. All right, thank you so much for asking that question, and I hope you all have a spectacular day.